Hello guys, welcome back to Open Eyes. I'm your host, Arpshree Banerjee, and this is my our guest for today, Mr. Arpan Man. Hi guys. And today we'll be talk, talking about the Trump Raise Act. For those of you who don't know, the Trump Raise Act is essentially an immigration restriction towards the immigrants coming into the United States. Now, what it's trying to do is only allowing high, highly fluent English speakers as well as uh, people with high quality jobs, such as doctors, to enter the United States borders. As well, uh, this uh, Raise Act also shifts the focus to a point based immigration system. Uh, now, to, for your first question, just a general, uh, general idea on what do you think about globalization? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? What are your views on it? I personally think it's good as people can move around and get to know each other in different cultures and mm -hmm. experience them for themselves. And also, it's a good way of maintain, having getting a good education. Mm -hmm. So you tend to, people tend to travel to different countries to get a better like education. So in order to like become a doctor, etc. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really good. All right. Now, now a lot of the arguments that these uh, developed world countries are putting forward is that if we let anyone and everyone into our countries, a it is affecting our working class people more because. Say, if people are coming in from Mexico, they are taking all these uh, jobs which are menial such as uh, plumbing and uh, just menial uh, bizarre jobs uh, every day for everyday household work and they do it for very, very cheap. And the American working class can't compete with that because they need more money than that. So, do you think it is fair for Trump to initiate such a restriction on uh, immigration? I personally don't think it's fair because these people are coming there to look for like, better opportunities as they're struggling to find them in their own country. Mm -hmm. So in comparison, like when you look at Mexico, their, their GDP is very low, they have very low um, living standards, and therefore they come to America to find better jobs and like, to improve their own living standards yeah. and like, educate their children and live an overall better life. So now coming to the issue of the RAISE Act that the, a lot of the left is bringing on is that uh, it is affecting the lower class workers a lot, whoever wanted to immigrate to America. And uh, USA, you know, for the past uh, dec more than a decade in fact, have in implemented a more global approach to the world, trying to help the world. Now, do you think it is fair for USA to back down and isolate themselves at such late a stage after their foreign policy has been of globalization for so long? I don't think it's fair because they should really be helping the whole world lift up their own standards because in a way, it is a way in which we can improve the, the entire uh, like global society as a whole. As if they isolate themselves, it will not be good for the world. I personally think that America itself should not like, isolate itself mm -hmm. as, they've done, as they're doing it right now because through engaging the world, they're improving their relationships and also this helps improve things such as trade and also they can receive better workers who can help improve their um, own economy mm -hmm. and they should continue to um, engage with the entire world and help it develop yeah. similarly to the US. Mm -hmm. All right, now, now look, like I agree with you on this, right? That it is, it is uh, unfair to the, those wanting to improve the quality of life and coming to the United States. Uh, but a lot of the things that Trump has done, out of all the things that he has done, I think this is fairly reasonable. And, 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 and let me explain why. Because, look, yes, I, I agree that USA does have a high obligation you know, to the world as, glo as one of the leading powers, as a country that has followed a global foreign policy for so long. But I also understand the fact that it also has to take care of its own citizens, right? Because Look, their jobs are getting affected, right? Because if the minimum wage is being driven down, their jobs are getting affected, their quality of life is getting affected, and when and when a lot of people, a lot of citizens' quality of life is being affected, I think it is, I think I think it is necessary to make some amount of action. It, not saying that Trump is completely right on this. However, the ridiculous comments that he has made throughout the throughout his presidency and before that during his campaign. And the ridiculous policies that, especially like the Trump Care Act, uh, uh, that he has tried to establish, I think this is one of the most sensible, and I understand where he's coming from with this policy. Now, look, the, the, the uh, one main reason 
why this Trump uh, Race Act has been enforced is because a lot of uh, immigrants have been abusing the American immigration laws. Like, for example, the Indian IT sector. Uh, a lot of these Indian IT sector people go to the uh, USA, work for a lower pay, a lower pay in the US, and prevent uh, the American citizens from getting jobs. Now, do you think it is fair for a foreign country to exploit uh, another country's system like this? I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's fair because um, you're like affecting the development of their country. This is particularly done by MEDCs, which are more mm -hmm. economically developed countries. Um, so it's usually yeah. done to LEDCs, but in this case, uh, it's pretty wrong mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Because people, even in in their own country, they deserve to get a job and improve their standards of living and become, I mean, more wealthier mm. in a, so that they can educate their own children but also to improve their living standards. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I think that's, a, that's an important point, point to make. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's fair either that USA has to suffer because a country, another country has found a way to exploit the, exploit the US system. Now, a lot of people who argue against immigration uh, they say that uh, allowing immigrants into their countries, uh, immigrant uh, countries, especially immigrants uh, coming from different cultures and societies, they are diminishing uh, the American values, the Australian values. Now, do you, do you think, do you agree with that statement or do you disagree with that statement? I disagree with that because I personally believe that people add more to a country. So in terms of Australia, people coming in here, it's a multicultural society, and through that, we can engage with each other and learn about each other's cultures, such as we eat each other's food, mm -hmm. we learn different languages, and so on. Yeah, right. Uh, but if uh, do you think that a country, uh, a country has the right to say that if you're coming uh, coming from a different culture, if you're holding different values, then you uh, have to, in some fashion, assimilate to our culture, to our society? Yeah, I personally believe that is correct. In some ways, you have to adjust to the society and act as they do, mm -hmm. because you can't just be like as you were in your own country. You have to do a little bit of um, assimilation mm -hmm. and become like the people who are living there. Because if you're like the odd ones out, they'll yeah. think of you as being very different, yeah, yeah, and yeah. therefore it, it brings in like the issue of discrimination. Mm -hmm. So these kind of things will happen. So such as like killings, yeah. like a lot of racism on mass scale, and so it is um, important to adjust to the society. Yeah, and look, th this is what happens, right? Like a lot, a lot of uh, immigrants who are coming in, but not I'm not saying all of them do, but uh, some of them just isolate themselves in a bubble of their own community. Like if they if say a Thai person or an Indonesian person or a Colombian person uh, comes to uh, Australia, Right? They, they stick to their own community, they don't like to integrate much to the society, they don't like to be multicultural. And if, if that is the case, then why are you coming? Like, what, are, you, are, you com are you coming to Australia to get a better standard of life? And if, and if that is the case, then better learn to adapt to the culture as well. Because if you just keep, you keep yourself isolated to that, you're just getting one perspective in your life. And uh, where, uh, not only are you getting one perspective, you have an opportunity, you have such an amazing opportunity to go and assimilate with uh, so many people, with, uh, learn different cultures, experience new people. And you're denying yourself that. And I, and I, don't, and I don't think that is fair. What do you think about the RAISE um, Act cutting down the amount of green card cards that are given to people and how it will affect the American economy as a whole? Because um, immigrants are people that um, contribute largely to the um, economy as a whole of mm -hmm. various countries. Yeah. Like, look, uh, obviously, the cutting down the green cards for immigrant workers in America is definitely going to have some effect on the economy. It may be good and it may be bad. Now, Trump says that it will have a good effect on the economy. Obviously, he will because it's his policy. But a lot of eco economists argue that it's actually going to have an opposite effect and uh, actually result in a lower economy for the United States. Uh, now, look, obviously, economic, economists have been wrong about many things in the past. Uh, historically, and they uh, because economics is a very messy field of study. It, it's not always predictable. Now, uh, in uh, in terms of economic factors, I really don't know. It's really tough to predict. I don't have the knowledge 
uh, to give, give you a good judgment on that. But in terms of the cultural effect, I do think that, look, America has been looked at as the uh, land of opportunity, the, the lead, uh, Trump is the leader of the free world. And to some extent that is true. There is, a, there is a lot of freedom in the country. You are allowed to express your views in any way, way shape, or form you want. Uh, uh, but uh, a huge, a huge uh, part of being American is being uh, able to accept all these different cultures. America is a global country. It has always uh, thought of itself as a global country. And by doing this, I definitely do think it is infringing on its global country values. And also, what do you think about like the immigrants being unable to... Um, allow make their par allow their parents to migrate to that certain country and um, like I I don't know about this card. I don't I don't know about this uh, parents issue. What is it? About? So in the Raise Act, they're also preventing that any immigrants they can't call their own parents mm -hmm. and then allow them to themselves to get a green card. So if the immigrant himself or herself is a U.S. citizen, was it uh, pre historically allowed for Americans to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, now look. This, this is this is where it gets really messy because this is where it can get really cruel on people. Uh, look, I understand if a uh, son, I I understand what both sides are arguing here. Like Trump is saying that oh, you are bringing in more people. We have a green card to you and not your parents. Uh, and then it, it might be a baggage to the country and the country's economy and all that. Uh, and all that stuff. And I do understand where he's coming from, but. There is a point where you, uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is a fair thing for Trump to do because he is, uh, now he's just separating families and that can be really tough on people. Like separating you from your parents can be a really tough decision and that may actually discourage some people to come into USA and that, again, may affect the economy, good way or bad. Uh, also, but, it's not just like the parents, sorry. So it's not just the parents, the children, so if the, their child is over the age of 18, mm -hmm. they can't come either. No However, way. If they're younger, they can come. Uh, okay. Even okay. like a one week older than 18, they won't be able to come. Wow, okay, alright. Uh, I'm going to change that, change my statement that this is one of the most reasonable things Trump has suggested. This is the least ridiculous thing Trump has suggested. No, no, definitely not. Like, look, even, even if you're 19, even if you're 20, you, if, even if you're over 18 and you're in your early 20s, your parental support is still necessary. If your parents go in, wait. So does this work both ways? So if say if a eighteen year old comes into the U.S. right and uh, comes into the U.S. and can he bring you know, his parents via green card? No. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, Trump. You, now you're in, now you're separating families, and that's not okay. I'm I'm sorry. Like at least uh, if if you're going to do this. I, I would have at least uh, restricted on a uh, lot on an older age, right? So if, a, if a, say uh, a sixty year old parent is coming to USA on a green card, with the point based system, it is highly unlikely that it will happen. But it, let's say it does, and then uh, his, uh, his son, if he if the son is thirty three five years old, if he if the son is self sufficient, then yes, sure, sure. Then, then I can find I can uh, find the reasoning behind it. So, I think the age gap, age uh, bar should be increased more, uh, to at least 25, if not 30, uh, if their son or daughter, if their child is uh, of that age. And yeah, no, no, this is, yeah, no, you're separating families now, and that's not okay. And that's not okay. Yeah. But they can, like, come on tour, um, tourist visas. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I get that. Oh, okay, true, they can come on. Oh, man, this, this, this is a complicated issue. Yeah. 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 Look. Yeah. And, and coming to this issue of complicated issues, like a lot of these, a lot of people just pass their judgment on things. I, I am also guilty of that many times, just like now. But global politics and politics in, gen in general is a very complicated field. It's a very complicated field to do the right thing. And no matter what you do, there's going to be some guy who's going to say you did the absolute wrong thing and something else, something radically different should have happened, right? And yeah, and when, when you take these different perspectives into account, yeah, like, it, it seems fair, but it also doesn't, Yeah. right? Like, I, I see the good parts of it, 
and actually the bad parts of it. Look, obviously the left, you see, you see I identify the center left of the spectrum, so in a yeah. lot of issues I'm on this fringe, like should I be for it or should I be against it? Now, where, where do you find yourself in the political spectrum? I'm very similar to you, mm -hmm. so in some aspects I agree with things, where in others I disagree with things. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so being being center is quite complicated because you you have to look at everything reasonably. You have to look at all the different perspectives, and sometimes it just feels easier that if you just pick a side and yeah. just roll with it, it just happens to be easier. Now coming back to Trump, what are your general views on him? Do you do you like the guy? Do you not like the guy? What what is it about? I I personally don't like him. Mm -hmm. I think he's quite stupid. Like I mean, he wants to build a wall. Come on, is that like yeah? The, the wall idea was pretty stupid. A because a lot of the immigrants don't come, uh, don't cross the border on the land, and B, it costs a lot. And C, he, wants he wanted Mexico to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, and yeah, some of the comments that he makes, I think that he doesn't think them through, and people and uh, the Trump supporters argue that oh. Uh, well, he, he's just being honest. He's just being like a real person on camera. He's not preparing speeches and all that stuff. But that's not how a president should act. A president has to be diplomatic. A president has to be... has to have articulated speeches. He has to provide good points. That's why presidents have speech writers. Because uh, to have someone articulate whatever ideas you have in a coherent fashion. And Trump doesn't do that. And he also has uh, made quite offensive statements about not just uh, immigrants, but about women and uh, people in general. What, what are your views on that, about his statements? They're quite broad, mm -hmm. right? and most of them are very false, mm. as, as like some of the things that he says, particularly about like global warming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, global fear, warming does not exist. exist. Global, yeah. global warming does not exist. Despite all the like the scientific evidence that has yeah. been provided. Like ninety seven percent of the scientists agree that global warming exists. Like come on. What what other evidence do you need? Alright. This has been a fun discussion with uh, Mr. R Fan and Man. And as always as every YouTube channel says nowadays, like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.